If you know my channel, then you know I'm really into my glow-in-the-dark stuff. So much so that I've created my own glow-in-the-dark Hot Wheels display. Recently, Hot Wheels has made a new glow-in-the-dark series, which is awesome. And this features the glow-in-the-dark duck and roll. Which, this had me thinking. Could I create my own custom Hot Wheels that glowed in the dark? So, to start things off, I've got to go and find some cars that I can customise. And I've already got some ideas in mind, mainly an X-Racers and something with lensed headlights. So after that peg hunt, I have my two cars here. First up, we've got the high-tech missile. So this isn't part of the X-Racer series, so the hope for this is having the see-through body, I'll be able to have it glow through the red body, which will look awesome. And the second car is a Corvette. Slightly older casting, but I found this in Tesco and suddenly had the idea that maybe we could make the headlights glow. With little success to putting LEDs in the cars due to batteries, this could be a really good alternative and it'd be quite simple to do if you just paint it on top. So of course, first things first, drill open the car. Remove the body from the base. Tap out the post for screws later on. And once you've done that, we can start customising. Okay, so the cars are now open, and you may be wondering, how am I going to make these glow in the dark? So I'm going to use this glow in the dark pigment, which you can buy really cheap on eBay, which I did a few years ago for a project I did where I turned some water and cornstarch into some glow in the dark shapes, which went really well. So I'm going to do a similar thing today, where I use PVA glue to paint the pigment onto the cars. So you can buy this pigment in many colours. Personally here I have the green and aqua, which are said to be the brighter glowing colours. However, this pigment comes in many other colours, so there's always the chance we could try out some different colours in future. So I've got myself a little bottle cap, some paint brushes, and all I'm going to do is mix the PVA glue with a pretty decent amount of the pigment so we can get a nice strong glow out of these. The more pigment we have, the brighter it will be and hopefully the longer lasting too. So for the Corvette, all I'm going to do is paint my glow in the dark PVA into the lensed light housings. Putting a decent amount in there so it lights up nicely. And then for the X-Racers car, I'm just going to paint the entire inner body with the hope it will glow through the transparent body. I'm not sure if this will work yet, but fingers are crossed. So I left them 24 hours to dry and realised they were a bit patchy, so after doing a couple more coats, I finally put them back together and it was time to check them out. Right, so I've got my two customs here. Let's take a closer look and see how they've turned out. I've got a couple of original Hot Wheels, I've got a Glow Wheels car and the uh, Glow in the Dark Duck and Roll. So we'll take a look and compare the results of both. Let's start by getting a closer look at the custom. So I went for uh, the I went for the X Racer series because I was hoping that I'd be able to see through and see the inside of the car glowing. Um, like this, it's quite hard to tell, but we got quite lucky because there's some areas you can see through, and uh, I painted in the headlights as well. And next up, we have the Corvette, and. Personally, this is my favourite, and I'm sure it's going to be the favourite for most watching these videos as well. So all we did with this was painted the inside of the headlights. Now, could have painted on the outside, which would have been easier. Would have saved having to uh, would have saved having to drill out the posts and tap in some screws. But I thought it'd look a lot nicer and neater, and actually, it does look pretty good. You can obviously tell there's something there, um, even though the PVA dries clear it will take the colour of the pigment, so... But even though it's obvious there's something there, it doesn't look too bad, does it? I think that looks pretty good. And obviously, the pigment being a sort of cyan colour, I chose a slightly more aqua colour than the normal, just green. I feel it goes well with the uh, colour of this car. But that's enough looking. We've got to do some testing. So, I've got... So, I have a torch that has a... UV light on it and if we shine it on the cars we can see they fluoresce well. Let's put these all in a nice position. Right, how 
is my camera going to fare with this? So there they are. The uh, duck and roll was glowing like mad there. Now, the X-Racer's car, being the sort of colour it is, really fluoresces well under this light. I mean, look at it. It looks awesome. That's just, I didn't know it was going to do that, so that's just chance, that is, that is just chance that that is fluorescing so, so well. That's awesome. But I almost feel like because it's fluorescing like that, the light isn't actually getting through into the car. So if I take this away now, now you can see it's definitely glowing with that cool aqua glow. However... You can't really see it through the uh, chassis, through the body of the car there. Even though that with the eye in the light, you usually can. But there is enough parts, whoops, there are enough parts on the car that you can see through. And when it's actually under the UV light, it looks really, really cool. That glows so well. So, then we've got up next the Corvette. Now, obviously, it doesn't fluoresce quite as well because it's, well, it's just a painted die-cast body. But, wow, those headlights do shine quite well. In fact, I'd say the camera's not even doing them justice. They're actually much, much brighter to the eye. That's really, really cool. And then we've got a little glow wheels there for demonstration. So as you can see they all look pretty good, they are all fluorescing quite well but if we remove the light watch how quickly the two Hot Wheels cars fade away. You can already see how dim they are compared to my customs. Now I went heavy on the amount of pigment in my mixture and this is exactly the reason why. I noticed this while I was uh, waiting for the glue to dry and I noticed them glowing when I turned my desk light off and yeah they glow really 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 bright for a really long time and that isn't even using the green pigment. So these are the two pigments if we light up the green there look how bright <laughs> that green pigment is. You can see the difference between the green and the um, aqua there but it just goes to show that being able to mix your own ratio of pigment can really bring out some good results. Just look how bright they are. And look how long they last compared to the um, the other two cars. Now I'm not having a go at Hot Wheels for this because I know that the pigment, despite it being quite cheap to buy on eBay, if you're making a mass, you know, making, they're only tiny little bags, if you're making a lot then it's going to get expensive, so obviously Hot Wheels don't use too much, I imagine. Plus, they've built it into their plastic body, or their plastic wheels. All I did was mix it in some PVA and uh, paint it on or inside the car, so I'm not quite there yet with putting it into the plastics. I'm not sure if you could just paint it on, or whether we could... Um, is it even possible to 3D print with glow-in-the-dark plastics? I don't know. Um, I don't have a 3D printer, I'm nowhere near any length to try that sort of thing, so it's open for someone else to try, if anyone with that tech mind sees this. But yeah, all in all, that is a really, really good little project. It took, it really didn't take long, considering I had to record all of it, it was a really, really quick and easy project, and as I say, if you're not a person who's any good at opening cars, personally I just say practice, because I used to be really bad until one day I got the hang of it. If you're not good at it, you could always just paint straight on top of the car. I might even try experiment with trying to fill in, say, details or tampos on the side of the car, or even lights, but I say, obviously, that the Corvette worked really well. So there they are on my Glowwalls display, looking awesome. Really hope to do some more customs like this because it was really fun and they've ended up looking really cool. So I hope you've enjoyed watching. Please drop a like if you have. And thank you if you're watching to this point. Make sure you subscribe to see more. And I hope to see you in the next video. Oh, and this is what my desk looked like after this. Whoops. Guess I have a glow-in-the-dark desk now too.